So you're wondering whether No Man's Sky is a great game. Well, I'm going to go ahead and answer that question before we get into this video. And yes, this game is amazing. However, I'm at a loss for words to what to say about this game because I've never played anything like it. This is a game that you are going to have not only countless hours, not only countless days, but countless years of fun. This game is huge. The planets are huge. There's so much to do, it's almost like you don't know what to do. You're just in space, and there's so many things that you could be doing. You know, you could go on your own quest, you could discover things, or you could follow the main storyline, which is to get to the center of the universe. And if you're thinking, oh, that's easy, no. No, it is not easy. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be having, uh, I'm going to make a video about just how big No Man's Sky is. So don't, let's not talk about how big it is. Let's talk about how fun it is, right? So whenever you first spawn in, this game is confusing. I had no idea what to do for the first 20 minutes or so. And I really try not to look anything up because I like the experience. I like finding things on my own. And really, it's just countless it's you have to explore to be able to find things like this i could have just happened upon it or if i wanted to be marked on my map i had to go find something else which i was led to by something else and there's these weird creatures called gex and if you haven't if you played this game and you don't know what a gek is don't worry because i found out that gex are only in some clusters of the galaxy and there's other life forms and you can learn their language that's what I'm doing right here I'm learning their language I think I have like I don't know eight nine ten words found now um, but it's so expansive I I cannot explain to you how big not even talking about how big the the worlds are and how big the galaxy and this universe is but just how much stuff there is to do in one planet. I guarantee you, you could spend a good month of nothing but playing on one planet and you will continue to find new things. And that would help you traveling on to the next galaxy. I'm actually on the second galaxy right now. The first galaxy, you had to upgrade your ship, repair it, add new things to the ship just to be able to go to another galaxy. And this game is full of that. It's full of things that you have to do. Some things you don't even have to go to each planet. One planet would be fine, but more planets that you go to, the more things that you can find. I think I've went through three guns now, and that's really cool. You know, I've upgraded my jetpack, I've I've upgraded my book bag, my ship. All these types of things are found in No Man's Sky. So, are you wondering should you get this game and I'm going to answer that with a yes and no. Yes, if you like games that are going to keep you preoccupied, something that you're not easily going to be able to beat, and something that you just like about space. If you like space, I guarantee you you'll like this game. And if you like just exploring, you will love this game because exploring is the biggest thing on this game. It's the biggest to do and there's loads of it. There's so much exploring to do. So let's talk about the no side. No, if you enjoy games that have uh, foreseeable endings, something that you can explore everything in a day and then go about your ways of doing what you want to do for the main quest. No, if you like playing with your friends. Yes, this game is online. You can find other people, but it's so impossible to do. I guess whenever you make it to the center of the universe, there'll probably be like 50 to 100 people that might have made it there, and then you'd be able to see them. And just exploring planets in one solar system takes forever. As you can see right now, I'm in hyperdrive or whatever this thing is, and it still takes a considerable amount of time to go to the next planet. This game is crazy. I... I cannot recommend this game enough if you are looking for a game that is just going to be fun, something that's not too competitive, just for you to kick back and play a game. And I haven't been able to kick back and play a game without hard challenges or something, just something fun to play and just have your mind be blown. This is a great game. I just, I love No Man's Sky. I've been playing it for about four or five hours straight 
and I've not had a dull point yet. I've had a lot of challenging points like, what am I supposed to do? What am I doing? Where is this thing? And I try not to look it up, but if you follow the game's guidelines, you will be able to figure out what you're doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys are playing this game, and if you're not, please get it. And if, if you can't get it because of, of money or something like that, let me know down below if you want some tips on how to make money, uh, to save money, to you know really work GameStop and get the best value for your trade-ins. All kinds of stuff like that because I want everyone to play this game. This game is way too big just to have like a million people playing it. There needs to be tens of million people playing it and it's just, I, I can't explain it. I cannot explain this game at all. Like I said, I'm at a loss for words. I'm never at a loss for words. I'm always overspoken and this game does it to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. My name is Aaron. Peace. Damn, I'm feeling amazing. Damn, I'm in the matrix. My mind is living a 